Hey everybody, it's Arlene mm -hmm. from Genji's Journey. So I'm here to present you guys the full flip through of my fully decorated heart song journal. Um, I'm really excited. <laughs> I am in love with this journal. As I told you guys before in the unboxing, it's been a week since that unboxing and I have thoroughly enjoyed decorating her this entire week. Um, if you're wondering why I had so much time in my hands this week, I was off this week of work, so it just worked out perfectly. Um, I was able to really dedicate uh, time to um, working on this journal, as well as uh, learning how to do my videos on, on YouTube and all that. So it's it's been fun. It's been a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, this is the first time in several months that I've been ordering these that I actually filmed any of the process of decorating it. Um, so it's it's definitely exciting to be able to share this with you guys so um i will be uploading if if i haven't uploaded already by the time i post this i will be uploading a music only quick flip through for those who are interested in seeing that one this will be the full chatty version so i can just kind of go over a few things that i've done um also please let me know in the comments if um this is something you would like to continue seeing i do buy these uh, monthly and i enjoy working in them i just never posted them before like this um if you'd like to continue seeing the process i don't i don't mind um sharing some of that with you guys as i create in them um also you know do you prefer full chatty videos or just you know um the ones that i've been posting you know kind of just music and just flipping through um please let me know in the comments and you know i would love to continue sharing with you guys but i do have a few other projects that i have in mind that i would like to also share so before i continue chatting away <laughs> um let me show you guys my finished journal how beautiful is she guys i loved her before and now that i've worked on her i'm just like this if i tell you this journal has it's all me <laughs> it is surely all me i expressed to you guys um, earlier on that I hadn't worked in one in a couple months because of my transition from Florida to New York and I really really missed um, decorating one of these journals and this journal has been not just a joy to um, to decorate but it's also very symbolic in so many ways so a lot of the elements that um, that are within the just the title alone heart song and just the whole thing this is definitely a good representation of me and my right now <laughs> um, so yes, I made sure that there was plenty of music notes throughout. So I used that entire page that came in the kit and some. <laughs> so I used the sheet that came in the kit and when it ran out, um, I, I had some other music paper in my stash. And so I, I went ahead and I used some of that as well. So in the back here, I put Enjoy the Journey. As you guys know, uh, my, um, my crafty name is Gingy's Journey. Gingy is my childhood nickname in Spanish is Gingy. So they would call me Gingy throughout my childhood growing up. And Gingy's Journey, um, I actually came up with that name with the help of my friend Jen at Jen's Junk. You can go check her out. So um, I was telling her how I wanted to incorporate um, definitely my childhood nickname because um, I wanted it to be something that was from like my past into my present, like um, the journey basically of everything that resembled Arlene, you know, um, from the beginning. And that had to do with music and creativity and and so that's where that name came about. And so I thought this was perfect. I got this, uh, there's a Tim Holtz, one of those Tim Holtz words. So I thought it would be perfect to add that in here along with the musical notes. And guys, I have showed this in my crafting videos. This stencil has been everything for me. I had this in my shopping cart for like a year. You can see I made some good use of it. Um, it's from Tim Holtz, the Stampers Anonymous collection. And I do not regret that purchase one bit. I love it. And so I used it throughout this journal. And I might be using it throughout all of the journals. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I added a piece of cardstock. Um, I mentioned before in my anchor collection, I started doing this. Because it's, I think it looks pretty, but it also gives you some extra room to maybe talk about the journal or anything. It just gives you some extra writing room. And um, I had to, <laughs> I glued on some lace here just because I needed to reinforce it because you will see once I open it up, she is super chunky and that's just the decorating part. <laughs> um, so when I start like actually journaling it, jur journaling in it, <laughs> sorry guys, um, it might get even chunkier. But I did leave in here ephemera pieces that I do plan on using in the decorating so it might not grow as much except for maybe some photos that I might add in. Um, so yeah, plenty of colorful ruffles. I am in love with my ruffles. Um, what else? Um, I had an extra of these crystal hearts that I had actually used in my own journal collection. So I have a few extra ones. So I decided to put it there. I just love it. It's very pretty. It's just so girly. I'm in love with it. 
Um, I added, if you guys maybe noticed by now, I am a lover of butterflies. So <laughs> I had a little enameled butterfly here. So I added that as a dangle and a charm that says never, never give up. This was given to me by a friend, uh, my dear friend, Madeline. I do tend to link her shop. She doesn't do journals, but she does um, other crafting jewelry. So I'm going to link her down below as well. So she sent this to me in Happy Mail with uh, a few other charms. And so that was also part of the, you know, just needed for right now. And this adorable shaker heart. <laughs> Um, was part of my journal that I got from Uniquely Ella Marlene. So she sent this um, as her extra goodies. And so I included it on this one. It just went perfectly. So it has a teeny tiny key that came with it. I don't know if you guys could see it. I don't even know if I'm in focus. I don't know if you can see that. I don't even know. <laughs> Am I in focus? Am I in frame? So this teeny tiny key that came with it. And then I had, I had to find a musical note charm to put in there. You know that, right? <laughs> so that's another thing. A part of me is music and the music ministry and so that is definitely, it had to be part of that. So yes, this journal is everything. <laughs> so this is what I mean. I definitely have a, a crocodile here. Is that what you call it? Crocodile? <laughs> alligator. <laughs> Not crocodile, alligator, an alligator mouth. <laughs> same thing, aren't they in the same family? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, guys, this is why I don't do too much talking because I just, I don't know. I created a pocket here or a tuck spot rather with um, a piece of that six by six paper that's included in the kit. Um, also the paper flowers that were included. There was another piece of that lace that I had. So I just glued it on to the side. This here is actually a printable um, from Dust to Roses. This was on, this is available on her Patreon. And then I just attached um, some more of that music paper, some more of the script paper that I've been also using throughout. I used it literally throughout the whole journal. So I really love this image. Um, and it's also going to be some of the stuff I'm going to be that I am going to be journaling about in this um, in this book. So one of my altered slides that I showed the process for, and I just put the word saved. And these words I got from my porch prints. This is also part of this printable um, set, which is also from Dust to Roses. I just this is just beautiful. I love my florals and my butterflies. So this rose had to come here <laughs> to this journal and I added love is kind and I backed it with some music paper and I had a few extra of these tags um, that were part of my journal collection and this one says musica perfect music so I will be journaling behind all of those tags and then I added a couple of fabric trends and I've gotten these pieces from bundles that I've purchased from uniquely Ella also love her shop and I do mention her a lot guys check her out I will link her below um, this, this envelope here, um, actually was part of another kit from Cheaply Chic and I had, I still had it. So I decided to create a pocket out of it. Actually, it's a tuck. And then all of these florals are throughout the journal too. These are those die cuts from Tsunami Rose. I will link it below as well. So this came with the kit, um, except for the floral. And this is just a little piece of, a uh, scrap piece of vintage wallpaper that I just put on there. And some of that, um, playing card that came with the kit. This couple, like I said, I'm going to be journaling several things throughout here. <laughs> and so this was also symbolic for me. Um, this couple, this was actually in the kit. This was on a, rep a recipe sheet, this little image. So I put it there. Sorry if I sound stuffy today, guys. I don't know. Okay, this there, which is from Four Sims. And so these little um, snippets that came in the kit... Um, I've done this in another journal in the past as well. Um, it might have been the Anchored Collection. So I like to take these little squares and put them here. I think I've seen this, maybe Amity Bloom. I know that she tends to make these like little squares um, on the sides of her pages, but she does it with fabric. So um, I like to put it on, on these flip out pages. I just think it looks cute. So I added that there. Um, I like to grunge up the sides. I've been into that lately. <laughs> so um, you'll see that a lot too. Some washi tape. And that feels ruffles. I love my ruffles. It just feels so girly and pretty. This is my favorite spread in the whole journal. Well, one of them, but definitely a favorite. Um, I just love the way the stenciling came out in this page and the music notes everywhere. I love it. I mean, it is heart song, right? So the heart charm again, I just added it to a one of the gold paper clips that come in the kit. And this is the same leftover piece from this page. So the kids came with a, um, a stationary page. I'm not sure if that's a stationary page or a, um, an invitation page, but I took a piece and covered cause this was, 
the back of that calendar page and I didn't I didn't want the same image in the back so I decided to um, kind of just make it more girly I just really love this page it was very pretty and floral of course so I just pretty much cut it down and fabric tacked it on so I glued it on and I created a pocket with that lace um, that I was gonna put in the front but I decided to do here instead so I didn't even stitch it on I just glued it on with fabric tack and this is also symbolic for me levantar levantarse to get up let's do what we love every day that actually came um, I think as an extra in my Amity Bloom uh, order and um, this idea for this little envelope uh, it's not really an envelope because I didn't attach it but I got this idea from um, Uniquely Ella she does a lot of these little flips and, and envelopes in her creations and I also received this beautiful um, vintage lace in my um, in my journal kit that I got from her and I have a little bit left over. I don't want it to ever finish, but this is all I have left. So I will be using it in, in little bits here and there because I want it to last forever. I love the color and it's just really pretty. So I just basically, I punched a hole with my um, crocodile and I put a little grommet on the inside and then I just wrapped it around with a piece of sari. I also love this sari. And guys, look at the stenciling on this one. I mean, I think what happened here was that I didn't clean. <laughs> I didn't clean off my stencil and that this was a very happy accident. So it actually gave it a very peachy look. So I was trying to stencil red as the background, but because the stencil had still browns on it, it actually gave me this peachy look. So now you know that I'm going to be blending in those two colors, right? <laughs> so pretty. So what I did here, like I said, I used the main image of that um, of that stationary piece that came with the kit. I used that here. So what was left over was the entire white part and a strip of the florals. So instead of just breaking this off to using collages, I decided I want to keep it, you know. And so what I did was I, I backed the entire piece with the pink parchment paper that came in the kit. And obviously leaving this showing because it matched so beautifully. And then I just glued on a piece of that vintage lace and decided that I, I would use this as like a hidden journaling spot. But what I'm going to actually do is I plan on writing a letter to myself in here. So like I said, this journal is very meaningful to me. And um, so sorry about that, guys. That's what happens when you don't live alone. Um, so yeah, this journal is very meaningful to me. And I do plan on doing a lot of reflection in it. So... And I loved how it came out. Like after I did it, sometimes I go about creating things and I'm just like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. And then uh, it just works out. So when I saw this stationery piece, I'm like, oh my God, this would look nice if I fold it over like a little um, little envelope. But then I was like, why attach it? Just when I was about to attach it, I was like, no, I think I can use it to write on. Okay, my bow. Yeah, I take forever. I think you guys noticed in the process that I do take forever deciding on my florals <laughs> and even tying my bows. Like. I can be very particular. I want it to be perfect. <laughs> Even if the journal is just for me. <laughs> All right. So yeah, I, my favorite, absolutely my favorite part of this journal was here. So then on this side, um, I just stenciled very lightly the back of that calendar page and I just collaged a piece of the tickets and one of my um, butterfly die cuts. And I slightly altered the you are beautiful tag so i just add some sari to the front some washi tape and one of the florals because this stamping was already pretty i didn't want to um i didn't want to cover it up so yeah that's that and when i tell you i did not waste any of that music paper is because i did not waste it i used every last little bit so um the little pieces that didn't have too much music notes i just kind of put it on empty corners and then this is an altered glassine bag that also came with the kit. Some more music paper, some more of that script page. And then this was part of that um, poem page. It says my garden with the tsunami rose floral. And this is another um, altered, altered tag that came with the kit. Also the fibers came with the kit. And the poetry page, um, I put some music notes at the bottom. Um, this is a piece of um, antique wallpaper from my Amity Bloom kit. So I did use um, most of the items that um, came with the kit, but I also used my own things that I had in my stash. So 
The kit comes with more than enough um, that you can use in your decorating. But because I had, I had extra things, I decided to use some of my favorite um, pieces to decorate my journal. Um, I do still have a bunch of these Spanish um, vocabulary word cards, so I, I've kept them in here. So when I do some journaling, I can actually journal with some of these words. So this says bien, which means good or well. And this is for my porch prints. I can do everything through him who gives me strength. Philippians 413. I will also be using that in my journaling. Some more stenciling. So for the most part, I've left I've left I've left most of it blank because I do tend to write or sometimes overwrite. And so um I had to make sure I, most of the stuff was removable. Um, this was my second shaker tag, um, that I created. The first one, um, I'm going to show you now, I used, uh, recycled packaging. Um, so the clear part was a little bit lighter, so I tried to go with a thicker, a thicker part for the top, um, and I used vellum, but you can't really read the inside, but you can still see through it. I might have gone with something a little bit more clear. I still like it, though. I think it gives a nice effect to the sequence, but... So I use a piece of the music paper, another piece of that script paper, and then this was part of the um, the other stationary page that came with the kit. It was a big flower in the center and, and lots of little flowers on the border, so I just cut a piece of the florals out. And this was um, the leftover piece of this cardstock with the hearts, and I just combined it with this um, turquoise sari. I think it came out very pretty. I'm in love with this one, actually. I was very pleased with how this came out. And the back of that, um, of that cardstock has lines, so it's actually perfect um, for journaling another border piece of music paper okay this was the first shaker tag prior to this I had never made a shaker tag <laughs> so um, I did film the process of this one slightly um, I did have some technical difficulties with these fibers um, I didn't realize how fuzzy they were so they were falling apart quite a bit and so I had to run my sewing machine on a zigzag stitch, I, I ran it over several times just to keep them down. And the result of that was a rail a railway track behind my tag. Like I destroyed this this line back here. And it was on that vintage music paper, which made me sad. <laughs> but um I went ahead and I took one of the clean tickets that were um, included in the kit and I just made a tuck spot. And actually now I really love it. So this also came in the kit. One of those pieces of cardstock, the journaling cards. And then this, I, this tag, I did not do any stitching. I just glued this on. The only stitching I did was here. And like I said, it kind of destroyed the card, so I didn't want to do any more stitching. Now, I originally um, used Fabri-Tac, but because this is, um, you know, plastic, it's not recommended to use um, Fabri-Tac on plastic. It will come off very easily. So uh, when I actually reopened up my journal, um, all of these were out, like literally sitting in here. <laughs> so I had to go back in, and I used my art glitter glue, and so far it's held down pretty well. Um, I didn't, I just didn't think that this plastic was going to be strong enough to, you know, go in with my sewing machine. So I think the art glitter glue did the trick though. And then once again, these are the, all the fibers that came with the kit. And this was completely recycled. Just this heart backing was part of my stickers that were in the center of my journal and the plastic as well. And then this heart, the music paper, all of this came with the kit, the sequence as well. And then this little pink heart, um, came with my paper pack from Rose Hill Paper Cottage. So here, instead of fully gluing down the music paper, I just left it as a tuck spot. I added um, some vintage doily piece and more of those florals. And then in there, I just tucked in some leftover pieces from uh, the playing card and some of that pink vellum paper so that I could use it later when I'm journaling. Another one of those um, vocabulary word cards, además, more over the sides. So I clipped it on here for my journaling later. And then I just made a bunch of tags to stick in this baggie. So I did mention earlier that I wanted to create a journaling card out of my Canasta card. I tell you, I did not waste any of that music paper. <laughs> Glue that on there. And then um, this came in a, pa a mixed paper pack that I purchased, I think from Crafty Paper Bits. So I just, I actually stuck this grommet on too tight because it's not moving too well, but it's fine. <laughs> Some more of the fibers that came in the kit another piece of the I think this was the last piece remaining of that cardstock so I didn't want to throw it away I added some florals to the top and made a itty bitty tag out of it 
and another one of those um, word tags in Spanish, imaginación, which means imagination. And the center, unfortunately, because it's so stuffed, it closes, it closes my heart, <laughs> my heart. So once again, it says love. And I just wrote scripture throughout the hearts. It's always in my heart. So I guess if you lay this flat and leave it open for some time, it will eventually you know, pop open like this. But right now, the closure has it sitting flat. Here goes another one of those vocabulary cards, dulzura, which means, um, dulzura means like sweetness or tenderness rather. So I told you guys I love these letters. Um, I love getting them every month. And so this one couldn't be any more perfect, heart song. So um, every now and again, I want to cut out the image and use it in a collage of some sort. And I really wanted to use this, but I did not want to lose my letter. <laughs> so I left it as is, and it still looks pretty just tucked over here, the heart. And then, you know, you can see the heart song right in the center. So I think it's perfect. Um, I flip spot with this cardstock baggie. So that's like a hidden journaling spot there. And then in here, I had these um, these uh, word cards with scripture. And I received these in happy mail from my friend Angela Maker Mom on Instagram. So I want to use these in my journaling. So I tucked that in there for that purpose. And I keep forgetting that this falls out. <laughs> So, oh my gosh, I almost forgot to include my little chocolate cake um, <laughs> recipe card. So that image of the couple in the front came off of this one. So I actually plan on making a tag out of it. So I just cut it out so that I can make that tag later. And um, it was perfect because I looked at my vintage dictionary page that came in the kit. I folded it over in sections so that I can cut these out and actually collage with them. Um, so it, it will break easily when you fold it over because it is vintage. So after I folded it over, I'm like, oh, it says Cupid. I'm like, how appropriate. And I had these extra printables from um, Dust to Roses. So I decided to put it together with that. So I plan on making a cute little tag and collage piece. That'll probably all be part of this one. And in this pocket, I also left some stuff. My adorable little bunny, um, my bunny Valentine. I did not do any alterations to him because he was cute just as is. So yeah, that's just going to stay tucked in there. And then the labels that I didn't use up is in there for later. For journaling and of course i could not oh cake as you like it that's gonna be part of that tag i could not get rid of my films from my altered slides because these have lighthouses on it and i fell in love with that it couldn't be any more perfect so yeah there was no way i was gonna <laughs> just i couldn't think of anything at the moment to create with them but i will and so i'm leaving it there for when when the idea pops up <laughs> Even my niece saw it yesterday, Haley. She was like, uh, she was like, you cannot like not use those. You have to use that as something, baby. I'm like, yes, I will. <laughs> so yeah. Left all of this blank for journaling. There goes that charm, never give up, and the butterfly. And then here, this also came in my happy mail from Angela. So it's beautiful. This is, um, I believe this is also a piece from Rose Hill Paper Cottage. And um, I recently ordered and I received my order the other day from Vintage Polka Dot Shop of like vintage stationary paper. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm going to leave that link below. Um, I wanted to film actually the opening, but um, I ended up not doing it. But guys, it came with a ton of beautiful vintage um stationary pages gosh it reminded me of my childhood when you would get so excited to see like the different stationary kits and it was just really pretty and then this one says i can do all things through christ who strengthens me philippians 4 13 again so i don't think it's a coincidence i left it here for my journaling later so it, it all goes with the theme and how i plan on using this journal so yeah check that out i'm gonna leave her shop below love i've been ordering also from her um for months also i mean i love her shop um, this is like a scrappy tag. So, um, a scrappy tag that I used layers of items that were left in the kit, as well as some leftover pieces that I had. Like, so this is from, um, some happy mail wrapping. It was a bag, a paper bag. And so I made a tag out of that. That was the base. 
And then I use some of the music paper, some of that floral stationery paper, another piece of that cardstock, but just the back part of it with the stripes. And then this was another piece from the other cardstock. So um, I just collaged it together. I used a piece of the doily and after I cut the section out, I was like, oh my gosh, it came out like a wing. <laughs> it looks just like a butterfly wing. So I went ahead and I just added some gold, you know, me and my gold. <laughs> and then added a butterfly stamp that just went so perfectly. So of course, these words couldn't be any more fitting, use your wings. So I'm actually really in love with this um, little funky collage tag. <laughs> and then I backed it with some of that vintage uh, plain card paper that came with the kit. And then the wallpaper. And guys, I have to show you the, the bag that I have remaining. So many things came with the kit that I couldn't use all of the items because this already had like a big mouth. <laughs> um, I couldn't use all of the pieces. So I still have another beautiful piece of this um, wallpaper. Um, it was pretty just as is. So I didn't want to do too much to it. I didn't want to chop it into, into bits and pieces. I wanted to see these florals. So um, I just made them into these rectangles, highlighting the floral, and I made a tag. I had this pretty sorry... Um, for a while already with the hearts and so i decided to use that to top it some more of the music note paper of course and i just literally put on the script washi and how cute that was with the noted and the music notes underneath <laughs> i know i could be kind of cheesy sometimes but and of course music notes all throughout the back oh i just guys i really love this theme this this could not be any more me <laughs> so Oh, I mean, I might say that about every collection. I love these collections, but definitely this collection is just, oh, it's perfect. So there goes, you have a piece of my heart. So I just literally um, glued it onto the while you were at um, paper, uh, yeah, papers that came with the kit. I just stapled on a piece of fabric and I used one of my um, coffee dyed words, stop and enjoy. And I stenciled hearts throughout the, the whole background. And this stencil was gifted to me also by my dear friend Madeline. I'll also link her below. I mean, she doesn't do journaling. Like I said, she does jewelry. But um, guys, I'm trying to get her into junk journaling. What do you think? <laughs> Who knows? You might see her appear in, junk, in the junk journaling world soon. This is another piece of the other 6x6 um, six six cardstock. This was a piece of music paper that I already had in my stash left over because I ran out of the... The other, I mean, the one that came with the kit was pretty big, and so it gave me for a lot of this journal. And when I ran out, I was really sad, so I just used whatever else I had in my stash. And then this is also part of the Dust to Roses um, digital, and then more of that stenciling. I mean, just look at how that came out. I'm in love with this. And then I show in the flip through um, the process of creating these. So I just put love, light, he cares. Um, I clustered them with the doily, I added some bling, and then I made baby tags out of the little tickets that came in the kit, and I made tuck spots. And a flip, that's the flip, and um, some more of that vintage um, lace that I got from Uniquely Ella. And of course the back with my decoupage hearts, and I added a piece of lace. So my library card. I fell in love with that little ladybug stamp, so I had to add it on there. So that's the back. And I really love how this pocket came out. And that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the flip through. Um, if there's anything you liked or anything that you would like to see, please leave a comment below. I really love to hear from you guys. Um, and thank you for um, joining me as I've created in this. This was this journal was also an icebreaker for me on youtube because i've never done craft with me videos on youtube and yeah so um it's it's been definitely a fun week working on this whole thing the entire process so um check out lynette at cheaply chic um once again her youtube channel she always puts up when the next collection the next collection will come out um so you definitely want to um, follow that because they do sell out these kits <clears throat> every month. And I just want to show you, look at all that was left over. So I have lots of bits and pieces, but I also have <clears throat> lots of big papers left. So <clears throat> I will use this either in other projects or as I journal throughout. So guys, you, the kits come with a lot, like more than enough to decorate your journal. Um, 
And as far as I had sorry, <coughs> I had sorry trim um, in my stash. But if you don't have that, um, you can always use any like fabric scraps you have lying around to make ruffles to make. Um, <coughs> I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> I guess I've been talking too much. <laughs> Um, to make your own tabs and ruffles and stuff. So you can use items that you already have around the house um, and create, you know, add on top of what already comes with it. And I mean, you guys saw how it started out. They start out flat, blank journals, completely naked journals. Um, the cover is already beautifully created for you. So you don't have to do anything to the cover. I just added this, like I said, to have extra, you know, just an extra writing room spot. But you can customize it and... It has so much that it comes with. So I do recommend these kits. I love them. They're encouraging. They're fun. I mean, um, check her out. Um, she sells them on Etsy. I will link all of that information uh, in the description of this video. Thank you so much, guys, for watching, for subscribing, for commenting. Um, this has been great. I've had so much fun. And I hope to do this in the next ones as well. Um, her March collection will be coming out soon. Um, she has sneak peeks also in the Facebook group. I just saw that she posted. Um, she's already working on it. So that's going to be another beautiful one. So check it out, guys. Um, all right, guys. God bless you. Bye.